Two very good questions. Um, let's take culture first. We um, produced our culture report, which uh, was with a whole group of other people, uh, other organizations, and that we did in 2016. And we highlighted their culture and the association of culture with good performance, long-term thinking, uh, very good, uh, consistent type of uh, feeding back into the organization from the top. Uh, diversity, of course, uh, has got some of the cultural aspects uh, because um, we believe that a board solely consisting of people who come from the same background, same experience, uh, same gender, uh, are not likely to be as successful uh, nor have the right kind of culture. So the two of them are linked. Well, we all talk about culture as being something intangible. Um, it isn't really intangible if you look at the outcome of a poor culture uh, or conduct. And uh, there are very many aspects which you can actually control and look at. Exit interviews, customer satisfaction data, whistleblowing, um, all kinds of things which already are there. Uh, turnover of staff, uh, the ability for the organization to engage more widely with the community. All these things are measured already, but bringing them together gives you actually a pretty good idea of what the culture is, is like. Um, now that has to then, the board has to set the culture. Very important that the board does it. Uh, obviously the CEO and the management team ideally agree with it, but ultimately it is for the board to set the culture and then for the CEO and his executive committee and the people lower down to carry it out. What we do know from experience is that culture or new culture is relatively easily embraced lower down the organization, well lower down the organization, new graduates for example, because they're told about the new culture. It's also relatively easily embraced by the executive committee, perhaps the, the reports, the first reports uh, of the direct reports of the executive committee. But there's a whole middle level, which is very, very important, which is the substance of the company. And when you change the culture, you've got to take them along with you, and that's much more difficult. Um, by the same token, you don't want to take, uh, change the culture all that much. Culture, to my mind, is something long-term, very different from a budget, which is one year financial, or three year plan, or even a five year strategy. Culture transcends all of that. Well, diversity, of course, we've all focused very much on diversity being gender diversity. In the United States, uh, we've also focused on, to some extent, on ethnic diversity, African Americans on boards. We all, for those of us who sit on boards, uh, you know, that's something that we really look to be able to achieve. I think it's broadened out now with the um, way that companies have become uh, global. Um, many companies, for example, operating in the Far East would like to have somebody who has got a good understanding of the Far East, China, for example, or India. Uh, um, you want people from different uh, backgrounds, you want people from different experience. Uh, what governments have focused on is much more gender diversity, and I think that's a very good first step, but it has to go beyond that ultimately. Um, engage with your chairman. Uh, hopefully he is the person who actually does embrace it and uh, is the guardian of it. Uh, engage with the chairman of committees, remuneration committee and risk committee, uh, for example, risk committees in, in, in banks. Um, obviously remuneration committee because remuneration is the elephant in the room. Um, I think the important thing is for all non-executives, I always say there are two important things. One is you have to like the business model of the company that you join. And secondly, you have to feel that you can work with the people on the board and the executive committee. There's some people who take it the other way around. I happen to think that the business model is more important, a sustainable business model is more important than people because you can always change the people. Um, a business model is much more difficult to change. So I think interaction, um, don't be too shy in the beginning, um, but give it a day or so before you actually make some very 
uh, very substantive statements, but uh, you shouldn't be shy. If you feel really very strongly about something, say something uh, and get feedback from your chairman. Uh, chairmen are perfectly willing to give feedback. Sometimes they feel that um, slightly adverse uh, feedback is not welcome. I have always found that non-executive directors would like to hear what other people think of them, particularly what their chairman thinks of them and what other board members think of them. Uh, which they pass through the chairman. So uh, be open about it.